Okay, everyone, this is <clears throat> part two of the Square HD football application. If you missed part one, make sure to go back and watch part one first so you'll get the flow of where we are in part two. Square HD football application for Square HD is uh, $499. Uh, a add on skin to our Square HD, ba uh, Square HD base rendering system. Um, in part one, we went through the clip player. We went through 3D uh, helmet title cards, and we went through most of the score bugs. So this time, uh, we'll concentrate on the going to break uh, player lower thirds, importing rosters, and player starting lineups, along with uh, a little bit of other uh, data that we'll go through. So again, as I noted earlier, we're deriving our data, clock, shot clock information. Uh, using our score OCR application from a DVD so we're shooting we're just using a DVD player that we recorded video of the scoreboard um, and then we are pulling out that data in real time off of the video um, in real life you'd shoot the camera at the scoreboard and pull off in this case the clock and the shot clock in real time which is then real rendered in real time into the score bug and the going to break information so as you see it's in real time um, and a, a very nice application uh, also you can use our score bridge to pull your data uh, directly from the serial port uh, of the system so that was the uh, end of our score uh, bar <clears throat> and so now we'll move to the going to break <clears throat> and so our going to break again can be resized um, <clears throat> in real time the uh, oops sorry let's get to the score bar and we can resize this in real time again when we resize this when we run the animation everything runs <coughs> uh, correctly so you can see we're putting the clock in from OCR again um, is coming the clock starts running here from our OCR is showing up into the going to break just as it should if we come to the application and we change it to <clears throat> uh, the first, we change it to the end of the first, then when we take this out, we come back in, it'll say end of first. Or if we come out and we say uh, <clears throat> the second and we say it's half time, then when we put it in, it'll say, oops, sorry, didn't get it second first half time the uh, also in game setup you can um, set how many periods that your game is going to be so football is typically four <clears throat> but for basketball you will have other applications where um, where in high school you'll have four periods in college you'll have two so you'll be able to set up <clears throat> the number of periods for a particular game so the and the going to and the going to break again we can put in different information um, down here we take it out we bring it back in and then that data will be there <clears throat> so again like I said before all the logos all you do is you come in you set one logo one color <clears throat> and that transpires through all of the other graphics so if I came into here and I selected this logo <clears throat> then that logo is now here no matter how big or small we resize it <clears throat> um, again and then that logo is also in the score bar which we have <clears throat> uh, increased it a little too big oops score bar shrink that down now you can see that logo is there <clears throat> so it's all dynamic uh, just change one logo and it pretty much uh, changes the logos everywhere except for the helmet and we did that because there are times that teams want a different logo on their helmet than they do <clears throat> in the score bar um, so that pretty much takes care of going to break all your information and everything is automatically put into the proper place um, it also comes with a uh, station bug and so the station bug can go up and you can place that resize it anywhere in any corner um, all of these things you can resize XY um, change the size 
of it. This you can change the opacity from 100% down to a lower level. You can watch the transparency. The uh, other thing to remember is that <clears throat> for Wirecast and um, other programs that require that don't have a key fill but require a chroma key, such as for the ATEM. Um, one thing that we forgot to mention here is that in game setup we have a little function that says is chroma and if I turn that on it then generates a chroma key background so this is normally how <coughs> if you're using a chroma key or to cut the key this is normally how the screen the render window would look so that you could chroma key out the green portion um, so after that then our next stop will be uh, for player lower thirds. So under our player lower thirds, we'll show you how to um, import uh, rosters um, very, very, very quickly and show you how that interacts with uh, the player lower thirds for the home away team. Okay, so for our player lower thirds, we will uh, take out the score bar in this case and we will come to our player lower third section and in the player lower third section you can see that we have a home and an away switch basically <clears throat> and under this we have uh, an entire list of the player uh, roster information so <clears throat> the great thing about this you see there's a lot of data in this player roster information is that we are able to um, import all of that information off of a website <clears throat> that is a high school uh, website that's called maxpreps.com so we can basically uh, simply uh, take a URL of the roster and import all that data into the teams in score HD so uh, to give you an idea of what a player lower third here's a home player uh, lower third again has the logo um, in this case it's player zero and it has class senior height 5 8 weight 160 pounds all of that data was <clears throat> imported from the uh, the max preps website uh, it takes about five seconds to import the entire uh, roster of a given team again home if we throw it to home and we put in the layer th lower third then you will have the home data so you can see up here we have a headshot so if you have player headshots um, which is really um, a nice thing to see in football then basically you can come into <clears throat> your resources folder and you can go to headshots and you can go to away and you can just put the player numbers in 30, 31, 58, 64, like that. So you have a home and a away folder, <clears throat> and then those will automatically um, attach themselves to the player lower third data based on their uniform number. So <clears throat> uh, again, player lower thirds, really simple. Uh, we have a new uh, option coming that's uh, we just came out with using an X keys keyboard and you're able to actually call up the player lower thirds um, on a keypad by number so it really exp um, <coughs> speeds up being able to call up your player lower third information so you can either put in the lower third information manually by um, coming here and selecting a player number or you can, I can come in and I can put in player 29, Phil Jones. And we'll say that he is a tight end. And then we can put in a player note here. <clears throat> we'll add that. We'll add that. So now we can come back to that player and call up his lower third so we can come into here we can bring in Phil Jones oh, I kind of misspelled it there 
um, I can put in note 2, I can add that, I can update, <clears throat> and then I can bring out that Phil Jones with the note 2 data here. Also, real quick, uh, that we've gone through the player lower third before we get to the import, I was going to show you the player lineup section. So the player lineup, I can come here and I can pick my player lineups um, simply by going down the list and hitting <coughs> add. And then that will add that player into the starting lineup list. So in this case, I don't have a headshot for him, so I'll remove him. Um, but once I set this up and I set up the uh, starting lineup uh, based on the fact that they have headshots in their head respective headshots folder, then when you run that animation for uh, player lineups for away, <coughs> you will run this and then you will see um, a 3D slab, a, th a 3D something like you would see on ESPN. Um, and then each of those players can be queued. So as the announcer uh, talks about each player, then you can forward them through. As you can see, it brings up a little Carlsbad High starting lineups. And then you can hit next. And then next, it brings in their name, their position, their number. <clears throat> and all we did to do that was to drop their headshots into the headshot folder for their home or away team. So <clears throat> extremely powerful um, graphics that we can uh, do with this. Um, one other thing we'll do real quick is we'll show you also has a an announcers so you can have uh, animation for your announcers. If uh, in here if your announcers are currently are showing um, the, their Twitter handles in this location. Um, <clears throat> one other uh, quick thing, we also do have a thing that's called a generic lower third. So this is in case you have reporters or other people that you want um, to have uh, lower thirds for, then we can come in and we can bring in a <clears throat> lower third sideline reporter via Skype. So by coming into here, I can simply come in and I can say um, reporting. And I can add that. And then I can take out this one. And I'll bring it back in. And it now says reporting. Um, also, I can come along and I can do a select an image. And <clears throat> let me see. Let's see. Resources. Here's a picture of the reporter. Uh, we can now take out the generic lower third and we'll bring it back in and it'll have a picture of that person or a logo or anything else that you wanted to put image you want to put into that so as you can see it's all pretty much automatic extremely fast we can save that call that up so you can have reporters and all kinds of stuff that you need head coaches that you want for <coughs> um, for your generic lower thirds Okay, so the next thing I'm going to show you is the roster importer and see how fast and easy it is to get all your roster information into your Score HD application. So we have a little application here called Max Preps Roster Importer. And so we are going to take our, um, our away team and we're going to come in. And right now we only have these players on our away team. <clears throat> and our away team is Carlsbad. So <clears throat> we're going to go to Max Preps and we're going to type in Carlsbad. And we're going to say Carlsbad Lancers. We're going to go to Teams and we're going to go to Football Varsity right here. And we're going to go to the Rosters page. And then we are going to take this and we're going to copy the URL. And we're going to come to our, our Max Preps Importer and put that URL in our away team. And we are going to say import, successful. And now if we come in and we refresh this, you will see that all of, the, all of that is in there. So we're out of time, but that's it for...